Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have partnered up with Cricut to bring you even more ways to use your Cricut Explore 3. In my last video, I shared with you how I use this machine to organize under my kitchen sink area. And today, I will be sharing with you how I made this gorgeous t-shirt using my Cricut Easy Press and Smart Iron-On Vinyl. Although my Cricut Explore 3 is great for creating custom labels, you could do so much more with it. You can use your Cricut to cut out decals, engrave bracelets and charms, create front porch signs, florals, felt, so many things. It's like the possibilities are endless. The Cricut Explore 3 cuts 300 plus materials and the machine is top quality, fast, precise, has built-in storage and folds down into a compact and easy to store unit. Cricut Roll Holder. It keeps rolled materials aligned for a clean, precise cuts. It has a built-in trimmer to ensure a straight edge every time. It's super easy to install, just align it at the marks, slide in, and it is secure. When loading, use Smart Iron-On Vinyl. Make sure it is shiny side down and just slide it through the slots, super easy. To get started, I will first be creating my design in Cricut Design Space. Although there are so many designs available already in Design Space, I will be uploading my own logo. To do this, all you have to do is hit upload image, mine were already uploaded. Once you click the image that you want to work with, you can start sizing it so it can fit your project. Cricut has a bunch of templates that you can use, but for me, I will be using a t-shirt. You can pick the type of t-shirt that you'll be working with, men's, woman, child, play around with the sizes and everything. You can view your guide or choose to have the guide there or not use the guide. It's not necessary. It's just a great option to have because I feel this was more precise for me. Once I was happy with the size, I selected to cut without a mat, clicked mirror, which was very important. This is a very important step not to forget and even gives you um, a warning. I positioned my logo on the vinyl, hit continue, then I selected the vinyl type. I used the more pressure option and moved to the machine to load the vinyl and start cutting. I set up my working area, which was on a flat surface with my easy press handy and also with the provided mat. The easy press machine actually works independently from, from your Cricut, meaning you can simply plug it in, let it heat up and press your fabric when you're ready. If you're not sure what heat settings to use or what materials, you can go to Cricut.com's help center and you will have all the instructions available for all the different heat machines that they have, including the Easy Press 2. Um, you can select your fabric type. It will tell you exactly what supplies you'll need, their prep station, application, and care for your material. For my case, according to the instruction, I needed to preset my heat to 330 degrees Fahrenheit and I would be pressing it for 30 seconds. It's super easy to set up. You just press the um, option that you want to change and then use the plus and minus to adjust it to the desired temperature or desired time. I love that the Easy Press has a heat tray where you can set your unit while it preheats. While my Easy Press was heating up, I decided to work on my vinyl, cut off the excess, and then the area that had the actual logo, I started to gently remove the extra vinyl around the logo itself. And that was fairly easy to use without the weeding tool. I just carefully pulled it back until everything was off and all the extra pieces that needed more attention, I used the weeding tool to remove those.
Once my vinyl was ready, I just set up the t-shirt and set it down. It is recommended that you preheat your t-shirt to remove any moisture or any wrinkles so that you have the best application. And taking my vinyl, I went ahead and centered it onto the t-shirt, pressed it down, and then used the easy press machine to secure my vinyl onto the shirt. According to my instructions, I am to press this for just about 30 seconds on the first um, layer, which is a direct layer. I made sure I was reading that, so I did this correctly. I did press it for a little bit longer than 30 seconds. Once I had this pressed, it was time to turn my shirt over and press it on the other side for approximately 15 seconds. Considering I was working with glitter, I did it again for a little bit longer just to make sure that it was melted really well into the shirt. And as you can see, the removal process was very easy and the results are impeccable. Let me know what you think in the comments of this result. I'm really happy with the way this t-shirt came out. And um, let me know what you would make with your own Cricut. I will have a link in the description for you guys to purchase your very own Cricut and heat press and start creating your own projects. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video today. And I'll talk to you in my next video. God bless and bye-bye.